In this tutorial, we are going to talk about barcodes. So, um, here we are in Visual Studio 2017. I'm going to use 2017 for this tutorial. Um, and we are going to be using WinForms for simplicity purposes. So, sorry, no XAML code today. But you can do the same thing with XAML, I mean, with uh, WPF. No problem there. All right, so we're going to select WinForms, Windows Forms, .NET Framework, and I'm going to name this project QR Code. So we're going to start with creating a QR code and then continue on. All right, so let's hit OK. Okay, let's get rid of this little uh, hello tab up there and let's uh, add a few elements here. So I'm going to start with a button and I'm going to add a uh, let's see our text box and let's add a picture box. Uh, maybe we should type up here. It's easier to find the element by searching it. All right, let's uh, align this nicely here. Let's make our picture box a little larger and squarish. And actually, let's resize our text box and increase the font sizes. So let's go to properties for our text box. Let's go to font and increase it to something like 16, maybe. Hit OK. That should do it for now, I think. And let's actually increase the font size of our, our button as well while at it. Go with 14 for this guy. And let's resize the button and change the text to QR code. And let's think it's a little smaller than okay that's a good size all right let's, uh, let's run this and make sure it builds i want to see the phone size a little bit see how it feels okay not a bad size I think it's readable. All right. Okay, so um, <clears throat> once we have our layout complete, let's uh, we're going to need to add a library. I think I just messed up my layout. Let me increase the font size of the text box a little more. Let's go with 18 maybe. Okay. All right. So yes, like I said, we are going to need to add a library that's called um, zebra crossing. So we're going to be 
using that library to create our codes, barcodes. So I'm going to go to um, Solution Explorer, select Project, and go to Manage NuGet Packages. Okay, while when here, I'm going to select the Browse tab and type in ZZing. Something funny, but uh, that's what it's called. It stands for Zebra Crossing. Okay, I'm going to select this. And I'm going to select version 0.16.4. I haven't checked out the newer versions yet, so I mean, uh, if that's something you're interested in, I can look it up and uh, make another tutorial for that version. I believe they changed uh, quite a few things there. So once I have this version here, I'm going to click on install and we'll let Visual Studio install the packages for our project. Okay, and it's done. Just finished, so it's a quick process. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and double click our button and let's go to our code behind in our button click event handler let's actually go up here before we do that i'm gonna clean up this place a little bit so i'm gonna remove all unnecessary stuff so we have a cleaner space and the first one the first namespace I'm going to add is going to be Zizzing and the next one is going to be Zizzing dot QR code. Okay, so these two namespaces needed for the QR code. Okay, let's go back to our uh, button click. In here, first of all, I'm going to Actually, let's add some comments as well along the way. So I'm going to create an instance of barcode writer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So var uh, writer equals new barcode writer. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to set the format. So writer dot format equals um, barcode format dot qr qr code. Okay, so we set the format. Uh, next, let's get the data from our text box. So var text equals text box one dot text. So we're using default names. We didn't because we only have one text box for now, so I didn't name the text box. So we're using default names for all our elements including the button button one and uh, once we have that data from the text box we're going to say writer uh, actually I think um, all right we set the barcode format I think we're going to say writer dot write and we'll pass in that information that data we just picked up Okay, actually, we're going to store this inside a variable. So let's call this result equals writer.write and pass in our text. Okay, uh, once we have the data stored in the result, now we can say picture box dot image equals result. 
Now the reason we can say that, if you'll hover over this result variable, you'll see it's a bitmap. So this method call returns a bitmap. Okay? Then all you have to say is, you know, picturebox.image equals result. So now if we run this, and type in something here, like hello world, and click QR code, we should get our QR code over here. Uh, one thing you will notice here, uh, the QR code's pretty small compared to the size of our uh, picture box, but uh, we can easily take care of that. Now we can go up here, say, var op options, equals new um, QR code options, I believe. QR encoding, QR code encoding options. And then open, close, curly braces. And then inside here we can say um, height equals picture box dot height. Or you can set to a fixed value such as 200, 300, uh, or any other size that you want to. And then set the width. We're going to set to picture box that width. Okay, and now we can come down here and say um, right below here probably. We can say um, <clears throat> writer dot options equals our options variable over here. So, okay. Now, if we run this one more time and type in hello world, click our QR button. Now we have a larger size that. Uh, covers the picture box. Okay, uh, that's it for now. On the next tutorial, we're going to continue. Take it easy.